Hey guys, this is Ankit and I welcome to all of you on our channel QWS Cap. In this video, I am going to discuss about most asked OOPS interview questions. So object oriented programming is very important for the all the interviews, whether it is Cognizant interview, Accenture interview, TCS interview or the LTI Mindtree interview. OK, so all the companies having asked have been asked so many times about OOPS concepts, OOPS interview questions. So I have bring for you the most asked OOPS interview questions. If you have done these many questions from the OOPS, then 100% you won't get any difficulty in the OOPS from your interview side. Okay. Now I will discuss in this theoretical questions also and coding questions also, which you should prepare for your object oriented programming so that you are mostly 30% of your interview you can cover by the OOPS because OOPS is very important and they will be definitely going to ask about the OOPS questions. So without delaying, let's start the video. Now I want to tell you one thing, one to one mock interview if you want to attend, then you can fill the Google form which is given in the description box. I have took one mock interview from one candidate who was recently appeared in the Cognizant. For that I have took mock interview for her and after the mock interview she have attended the cognizant interview and she have messaged me today that recently i completed my face to face interview to cognizant 90 percent of the questions are what we have discussed in the mock interview thank you for your guidance okay so this is the message i received from her today if so if you want to book your mock interview then please fill the form which is given in the description box so that we can connect for your mock interview as well so now let's discuss about the object oriented programming so in that i will tell you firstly theoretical part okay so what are the questions you should prepare as part of your theoretical questions so first of all you should know what is object oriented programming okay after they can ask why we choose object oriented programming over the procedure oriented programming so as we know that we have the c programming language okay so in c programming language we don't support it doesn't support the object oriented programming then why we jump over the oops rather than procedure oriented programming what is the advantage of oops over the procedure oriented programming so that's the things you should know and how oops relates with real-time word problems and what is class what is object what is the constructor and deconstructor so this is very important questions they will be asking and what is the use of new keyword what is why java is not pure object oriented programming so this is also very important questions they will be asking so many times in every interviews okay now let's move forward this is second slide so first of all in the first slide i have mentioned all the oops related introductory questions okay in this slide i have added all the oops pillars type of questions okay related to oops pillar like abstraction inheritance encapsulation okay so first of all they will be asking you what are the pillars of the oops and what is abstraction give real time of example of the abstraction difference between abstract and interface so you should prepare for interface also interface also important and what is encapsulation and give real time example what is inheritance and give real time example what is the use of extends keywords so extends keyword we use to implement inheritance so you should know that what are the types of inheritance so you should know the types of inheritance like multiple inheritance multi-level inheritance so these are the inheritance types will be there coming to polymorphism they will be asking you what is the polymorphism What's the difference between runtime and compile time polymorphism? And what is method overloading? What is method overriding? To implement method overriding, which OOPS pillar we needed or we have dependency? So these are the questions they will be asking from the OOPS pillar side. So make sure that all the questions should be prepared and you should know the clear cut definition of all the OOPS pillars with along with the real time example you should able to tell the real time example to the interviewer this is what for the theoretical part now coming to coding part so in coding part you should know the implementation of all the oops pillars like encapsulation inheritance and in polymorphism we having the method overloading and method overriding so you should know the implementation of method overriding and method overriding so this is very important they will be asking so many times they have asked in the previous interviews about the method overriding and method overloading 
implementation so you should prepare very well you should practice about those implementation okay and they can ask about the interface in implementation as well so you should know the interface implementation as well so this is the coding part side so this is the five coding uh, implementation you should know so okay so be practice well so that you can do in the interview you can write the code in the interview in the smooth way and you can explain in the very well way so that's the matter here and that's real impact if you give the clear cut definitions and real time examples and implement that's real insane if you do like that you are not going to stuck in your oops concerns in your interviews okay so let me know in the comment box if you want any other videos on any other topics like this video we will be bringing on the most asked questions in that topic and and also please let me know if you want the with answers all the questions and you want any tutorial on the object oriented programming with its which is specific for placement okay not like 10 hours or 11 hours course just we will be covering in one hour all the important aspect so just let me know in the comment box that if you want that so we will be bringing for you soon make sure like this video and comment on this video and please share with your friends so they also can get benefit from this video and please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon button so that we will be bringing so many good content and the useful content for you to make your placement journey smooth so that you can easily crack your placement drive so that please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon button thank you so much for watching this video bye bye